Videos are a compelling way to tell stories in your website or application. The problem is if someone wants to get a quick idea of what the video is about, they'll either have to start watching the entire video or hope that they can get all the information from a static image. Both ways are less than ideal. What if we could automatically generate a short preview clip from a video and show that as a teaser before they watch the whole thing? Teaser clips usually take a while to create. You have to find the clip you want, edit it down, and export it out. And now you're managing two files instead of just one. What if instead we take our full length video and use code to automatically generate the teaser clip for us? Fortunately for us, Cloudinary offers lots of transformations for both images and videos. And in our case, Cloudinary can create a preview video based on our existing videos within our Cloudinary media library. Let's see how easy this is to set up within React. Here I have a video that's a minute and three seconds long. And transforming the video is as simple as adding a duration method of four for four seconds to it. But let's take this and use it within our React application. I already have URL gen and the React SDK installed. On line 44, I have the same video embedded using the advanced video component. The React SDK uses the URL gen SDK to add transformations. So I can add an effect, changing the preview duration to four seconds. Now let me show you what this might look like in an actual project. I want to show a grid of all the YouTube shorts I've been putting together. I already have my advanced video component, but I can also use Cloudinary's advanced image component as well to generate a static image or thumbnail based on our video. I'm giving our video ID, setting the asset type to video and the format to an image. Then I can use CSS to control the placement. On this particular project, I'm using Tailwind. I've set the image to take up as much space as possible and use Z indexing to ensure it appears above the video. On the video component, I've done something similar, except the Z index is setting the video below the image. When the user hovers over the button, the opacity of the image changes to reveal the video underneath. If we check this out in the browser, you should see our image. Then when we hover over the button, our video shows up. Now we just need to play the video when we're hovering over it and pause it when we leave. Within React, we use a use ref. Now I can create an on mouse over function to say that the video player should play and an on mouse out function to say that the video player should pause. We can attach these to the button. Then for accessibility purposes, I'm going to set up an on focus and on blur as well. This way, if the user is navigating with their keyboard, the effect will still work. Now, if we check this out in the browser, when you hover over the button, the video should show and play our four second preview. When we mouse out, the video pauses and the image appears again. If you're interested, check out the Cloudinary video effects and enhancement documentation for more configuration options, like creating a boomerang video that plays forward and backwards, showing a progress bar, and adding a border, just to name a few. Next up, learn how to simply upload a video.